Hello, beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. I'm very pumped up. I wanted to share with you that the Gottman Institute of How to Have a Successful and Happy Marriage is the research topic, has discovered over the past 30 years consistently that happy long-term relationships including marriage, require five positive interactions to every one negative interaction. That ratio is very powerful and they can predict that, they say, within a very short time of listening to two people having a conversation. So let's see what the overall energy is for you, Leo. Leo, sign of the fifth house, ruler of the fifth, romance, fun, sexiness, children, creative... Uh, creative efforts and experiences. Gambling. <laughs> Attachment, Leo. So your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you are to stay very much attached to you. They see you door, you know, we see this door to romance. Of course, you're Leo. My goodness. Of course, you're the door to romance. You're the, you're the embodiment, embodiment of fun and romance. We see Angel of Balance. Your person's very good at being balanced. They see you the same way. You are a fixed sign, so you're pretty consistent. So let's see what we have now. Let's look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions. We'll clarify any cards that look like they're challenging or hard to understand. So let's see what we have for you. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, Leo, we have the energy of the world card going to the next level wanting to be happy your person happens to be pretty discreet i feel leo that this is a person who's looking at things very objectively we get an intellectual energy but they want to get to know you and get to know all about you let's see okay coming into the energy they've been holding back the eight of swords says that they are feeling a sense of self-imposed restriction that they're not just uh, able to set themselves free. There's some sort of limitation that they see in terms of this particular moment. What would that be? Six of Swords. They want, you know, what I'm seeing here is a possibility that there's been some stress or tension in your relationship and they don't know how to make it better, but they are soul searching to do that, Leo. We get the star card. Oh, beautiful energy, Leo. Your person sees you as a spiritual rock star. They see you as a really good person, somebody who has a good heart, somebody who's fun to be around, somebody who is a rock star, basically. And you know, the fifth house is a rulership of people who get fame and fortune through their creative endeavors. So you may be, you may be in the entertainment industry, or you may be a rock star in your own right in some creative endeavor. Ever. Even if it's just in your industry, they, they just see you as the penultimate fulfillment of love. In the recent past, your person looks guarded. They're holding on to you. They're trying to stay very grounded. They're very much in the energy of trying to hold back. They don't want to make a fool out of themselves. They're really, they just feel like they have to handle their own actions towards you very carefully. Um, so that you can go, you know, you would consider going to that next level with them. We see that at this time, the most that they hope, what they really want ultimately from this relationship is a very traditional relationship that could be, that could include marriage. You know, the Hierophant is very much, very traditional thoughts, very traditional beliefs, wanting to have uh, roles within the marriage that help define the marriage. Your person sees you. They see you as being very different, but they see you perched here. They feel very good when they're about you, you know, when they're around you. And so what we see in the near future is the Empress card that's manifesting you. The Empress card is a card of uh, their intention is to try to to get you more attracted to them, to bring you to them, to um, manifest you. But they're going to do it with love, with kindness, with um, really enjoying the finer things in life. They want to have lovely experiences with you. Taurus, Taurus energy. This energy, Leo, is a very grounded, fixed energy. This is a person, Leo, that... 
um, knows how to have a good relationship. When we look at how they're acting or, you know, what they're actually doing right now, the energy that they're bringing, Virgo energy, they want a legacy relationship with you. And they have the intelligence to plan, to do the work. Virgo is all about day-to-day, -day, boots on the ground. I'm going to get up today, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to keep building a future and a legacy in this relationship with my Leo. They're, they have great deal they have a great deal of clarity about what they want. This person does not live in, in a world of illusion. They know exactly what they want. They hold themselves back so that you know much like an athlete trying to get to a peak performance level, we really see your person Leo as someone who's very thoughtful. Eight of Swords energy though is Gemini energy with the Virgo energy. It sort of is a, a manifesting energy of that magician you know, being very strategic, being very thoughtful about what they do. Their biggest hope and their worst fear is the five of wands, that they will have competition. Well, Leo, that is uh, that is a Leo card. They know that you get a lot of attention from other people. You can be sun, moon, rising of, or Venus of Leo, but your person realistically is assessing that there is a risk that, you know, you have a lot of options, that they could be in a competitive situation with you. This is not a person who really will hang out a lot in a competitive environment. Making them jealous would go against the grain with them. Um, as you saw at the very, you know, as I said at the very beginning of the reading, five positive interactions to one negative is going to be the ratio that this person understands, even if they've never seen the research, they get it. They understand what it takes to make the relationship work. The outcome at this time is the Eight of Cups. So what I'm seeing here is that they fear anyway that you may walk away from them. And that being the case, they will withdraw from you. So what we see is that their intention is that if they find themselves in a competitive situation, after taking time to wait and see how things develop, they will walk away. So let's go ahead, because that's not the energy we want to have, right? To have a successful relationship. But I am telling you, this person is highly strategic. They're in it to win it, and they are a winner by nature. So we're seeing somebody who really knows what they want, how to get it. They do not invest themselves in failing um, aspirations, so to speak. The Eight of Swords, why is it here for a beautiful Leo, friends? Why is your person holding back? Mother of Swords reversed. So there may have been something that you said is what I'm seeing. The Libra energy, they're not feeling a balance of attraction right now. They're judging the situation as being very risky for them. They're judging the Queen of Swords energy reversed means that they're not feeling valued at this time. They're not feeling as though this is a safe risk. But hey, you know, if you if you want to win big, you have to play big at the wheel of love and romance, especially with our Leos, because you're so attractive to everybody. Tell us more about this Eight of Swords energy for your person, Leo. The two of coins, they won't be juggled. Okay, so what we're seeing here is that your person is definitely going to hold back very strategically until you stop walking away to give them competitive situations, put them in a situation where they're being juggled. They want to go to the next level, and that is their intention. Six of Swords says they want to move the relationship onto into a better uh, balance. Justice card, they want to be treated fairly. They want to be honored. Uh, this is Libra energy. This person's very focused on long-term commitment with that marriage card. Justice card is the ruler of the seventh house of marriage on the astrological wheel. It's all about the commitments being made and kept in a marriage. That is a marriage license. It's also the how we start divorces. We initiate paperwork. So this person knows they're very fixed on a successful relationship with you. So the only other two cards that we have here that are negative are five of wands. Why is this person fearful of this? The temperance card. I wouldn't say they're fearful of you having other people. They will be very patient during the early stages when they think it's appropriate for, you know, in the getting to know you phase. 
but they will be patient. But again, let's see what when they're when would their patience run out? Oops, cards are falling all over here. Let's see what we have. We have when you don't text them back right away, when you don't have something cute or funny or something personal to say, when they feel as though you're making it about you too much, when they feel as though you're not trying to manifest them, when they feel as though you've released them, and when they feel as though you're not asking any questions. You know, it's so often I hear in dating, people say, well, they never ask me anything. And so that is a key indicator, you know, that that if they don't ask anything about you, that there's a, a bit of a selfish edge to it. So it very much this energy that you're coming into, uh, Leo, is a person who really knows exactly the signs that would make them walk away because they would see you in the process of walking away anyway. You're not invested. So the Seven of Cups is the outcome card, is a clarifier. They don't know if they're going to be required to walk away. They don't know if you're keeping them as an option. They don't know really what they don't know. We get the Ace of Cups. They will make the offer of love once this energy gets cleared up in terms of if you're invested in them. You know, invest in those who invest in you. And the Star card is reversed. Now the Star card reversed is a, still very positive. It's they see you as their hopes and dreams for love manifesting. And right now they don't know if they will manifest. So it is reversed. Let's go ahead and look at Heart of the Fairy Oracle and see if we can get any more information here. This is sort of, I really love the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. It, it speaks very much to the psychology and the heartfelt energy of your person in a more mystical way. The Eight of Swords energy. Why is it here? Okay, so the smith. Now, we don't read reversals in Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Your person wants to see you put in some effort. So when they see you put in effort, when they feel as though you, they are important to you, they are very much all about moving the relationship forward in a barren, fair and balanced way. All right, we have Bright Spark. So they want to see, see, <laughs> they want to see a spark of interest from you. They do see you as a bit of a sorcerer. They're not quite sure what they're getting with you when they interact with you. So they do think that you could be a siren song. The sorcerer is sort of a trickster. It's a magician card almost gone wrong. You know, we get the magician card. We love the magician card. It's a very, a very fair and balanced energy of healing. But they feel as though they need to see something from you that's more grounded. The Elven Knight is very grounded. The Elven Knight just blends into the background. So they want to see you allow other people around you, people who are pursuing you, they want them to blend into the background as a sign that, you know, that they can have what they want with you. Let's look and see what the outcome card here is. The clarifier for that Eight of Cups. What do we have? Oh no. Okay. So basically what I'm seeing here is that it's sort of like, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. So what it means is that they're not necessarily walking away. It's not their intention to do that, but they will absolutely walk away uh, if they feel they're being played, if they feel that you are even too mysterious. So Leo, you know, you're, you have a tendency to be flirty and you have a tendency to be flirty with everybody. You know, you could flirt with children just in the elevator being sweet to them. You could flirt with a puppy on a walk because that's your, your personality. You know, you live large, you're, you're happy-go-lucky, and sometimes this person might be very sensitive to that. We get of two minds, and that makes perfect sense. This person just doesn't know what they don't know. They're very clear about what would make them walk away. Um, they do want, however, this lovely, innocent, sweet relationship with you. They feel like you are an angel, and they do see you as the lady of song. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much, Leo, for joining me. Take care. Have a good one. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Since I'm back. Tell me where you're from. Give me a thumbs up if you'd be so kind. Thank you.